Hi, my name's Tony Foresta, and you're watching Transmission. Alright, what's up, Mr. Stoney? Hey, Tony, what's up, man? Mayor Stoney? <laughs> you call me LeVar. Oh, alright, thank you, LeVar. What's up? <laughs> uh, pleasure to be here. Let's start with the first question. Alright, alright, so uh, we're six months into your term. What impacts are you most proud of? Folks feel so energized about the city. I, I treat this as a 24-7 job. I, I take it upon myself to actually be in the community. Uh, I want to be the city's champion. It's number one promoter. It's number one cheerleader, and I think that brings a, a sort of energy to the city. What kind of music do you listen to? You know, I listen to hip hop. I'm a big hip hop guy. Um, I, I'm listening to Drake's new album right now. Um, uh, I did listen to the uh, Tribe Called Quest album um, uh, right at the beginning of uh, after I got elected. Uh, I, so I mean, I, I'm I'm listening to different music all the time. And do, is it, do you listen to like pre-speech stuff to get you like fired up? Oh yeah, up, like, yeah, yeah. So during the campaign, during the campaign. Yeah. I was put in a room next to like Jack Barry and Joe Morris, he was in another room, and we didn't have like, you know, a speaker or anything, so I just took my, my iPhone, put it into like a hollow, into a cup, and I was, you know, blasting all my music, just getting pumped up for the, for, you know, for the, for the show, and, you know, they were like, I think Jack Barry next door can hear all of this. I was like, well, this is how I get my head around, you know, get my ready. So you know, He's I, getting intimidated here. Right. He's like, that's right. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that. Uh, what events, like what art events around town do you think are most important to the city? Gosh, I think all of it's important. I mean, to me, the cities that are, are taking off are the ones who are uh, emphasizing talent. And in order to do that, you've got to have a, a vibrant art scene. And I've visited a couple cities. Their cities would you know, die to have what we have. Like, can we do a better job in cultivating the scene? You're damn right we can. You're damn right we can. Folks want that, 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 that culture, that, you know, they want that. And you can't get that anywhere else in Virginia. Right. I grew up in Hampton Roads. You can't get that in Norfolk. A lot of talk these past few days about monuments. I'm not going to shed any tears if, you know, one day I wake up in the morning and, you know, the Jeff Jefferson Davis statue is gone. Uh, and I think currently the way the statues uh, stand on Monument Avenue without any sort of context, without any sort of interpretation, to me, I think that's an endorsement of, a default endorsement of a shameful, divided past that I think this city exactly. has moved beyond. And so for me, uh, what I want to do is, you know, the people who erected those monuments, they were trying to tell a story. Now, in this time, in 2017, we get to actually, we get to have the opportunity to tell the true story. Well, here's, here's, here's a, a gift oh, from Mary, my bandmates, Miss for Waste. It's a municipal waste order. beer. Yeah, it's from uh, Cigar City in Tampa. Okay. So I had a question for you. Okay. So what do you play? I sing. You sing? Yeah. So when you're saying your voice is hoarse. Can you sing something for me? No, no. You right now? No. No? Okay. no. You gotta pay me, dog. I, I like <laughs>